All right. It's been there for almost six years, but what it is is still a mystery to a lot of folks who frequent Anchorage's ZJ Lusak Library. Art may be in the eye of the beholder, but what we all see is not the vision you or I might perceive, and as you'll see, that's okay. What is it? That's what a lot of people might say as they walk into the atrium of the ZJ Lusak Library. What is it? Is it an alien? Is it a vegetable? No, what? From the cafe view, Andrea? I thought it had to do with Harry Potter. Well, there's that quote, but get people to look up. Or maybe a plant, like a, a space plant that's coming down and kind of crawling out from the building. Uh... Mm -hmm. Is that a flower? Uh, like a seed of knowledge? A bit of confusion sets in and even brain freezes. A tree? Could be, but what we see in this art is what we bring to the table. It kind of looks like a plant to me. But sometimes looking at this, nothing clicks. <laughs> nothing? Got nothing. Go, yeah, nothing. <laughs> Got nothing. <laughs> but this is something, right? So I talked to the person who's in the know, the library's Misty Rose Nesvik. It is technically an, an eyeball, and those are kind of the optic nerves going back into your brain. And the I had no idea. Andrea, you're not alone. Oh, and it has a name. And thus the name, Portal of Perception. Portal of Perception. My cape friend here, Quinn, had a few thoughts once I enlightened him. Uh, I'll tell you what it is. It's an eyeball. Oh, okay. So now we know, when you come to the library, maybe we should all just look up to see what's looking back at us. The eyeball. So the great thing about the art is that it changes no matter what level that you're on. You get a different view of the different pieces and the details that are there. So it's really interesting to move from level to level. Oh, there's that perception perspective thing and so many ways to view this mobile of knowledge and its moving parts. Moby Dick, an Alaskan kayak, molecules, symbols, and flowers. And if you look real close, details. Like that little Lego crew sitting on the whaling ship. A Lego crew, who knew? Ahoy, Lego mateys. I mean, it kind of looks like a droplet of water. A mobile. So maybe it's the pondering that greases the wheels of introspective wonderment. I mean, now it all makes sense, the nerves. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. The good news, we don't always have to see things the same way, and guess what? That's okay. I'm Dave Allgood and Portals. You have, like, representations of science, religion, history, music. And perceptions are... And <laughs> Portal of perception. The All Good News. And now you know, right? The Portal of Perception, by the way, is a tiered sculpture, or as the lady said there, it's a mobile, designed by Richard Cauley Studios out of Portland, Oregon. It does have true Alaskan culture objects. The kayak, by the way, was created by an Alaskan artist, Andrew Abio, and the wooden dinosaur is a duck-billed hardrosaur, which lived on the northern slope, or the north slope, rather, and it's probably oil now, right? <laughs> All right.